Hi guys, all right, let's check in on a love reading and just see what is showing up at this time. All right, oop, oop, oop. someone's in the clouds. Someone's head's in the clouds. It says they could be floating on air, happy to be in love, bring it down to earth. This could be daydreaming, daydreaming about you, thinking about you, wondering about you, happy, happily in love, excited, any of those emotions. A realization that they're hooked. Someone's realizing they're hooked on you. So you may see them on your social media. You may, um, maybe there's a little flirting going on. Okay, someone's in love. And again, if you're not on social media or if they don't know each other that well yet, just depends on the situation. Um, hook just means obviously they're smitten. Like it says, already smitten, tracking you, possibly wants to take things further. All right, let's see what's going on. High Priestess, listen to your intuition. Someone's a Pisces. Ace of Wands. Yes, yeah, someone's attracted to you. You may know that. I'm getting someone, I can actually see this dragon today. So someone could have like a dragon, dragon tattoo or something or... Six of Wands, we have the Moon, and we have the Judgment card, bringing something to life. A lot of like dreamy energy to me. I'm noticing the people on this card kind of like floating. This could be a very like romantic connection, very dreamy connection. Again, more Pisces energy, Moon energy here. Someone could be dreaming about you. Obviously, someone's very attracted to you. I feel like when they, uh, or around you they try to stand a little taller a little straighter um again you may already talk to this person who this is that type of thing you may see a little bit of them flirting at the king of wands under the deck which is a, a good flirt card or they could be new maybe you're talking to someone who's new page of wands ten of wands you may be busy uh moving or doing something maybe this person approaches you or that's how you meet something like that works in their grocery store is what I'm getting also they may work like in the, with the meat or the produce or something like you work in in the um in the back or maybe you stock maybe it's cold like a freezer someone may work like in a freezer and you have to dress warm okay ace of coins something new something big hierophant page of swords if someone is watching Got the Six of Cups and the Six of Swords. This could be a connection that moves slowly, but still that's good. Taking time to get to know each other. This could definitely be a past life soulmate. Possibly for some of you may feel like there's a very strong connection with the Moon and the Six of Cups coming out together. This is wanting commitment, looking for commitment, but there's also there's an attraction here. It could be a Taurus. And again, Page of Swords, of course, we all know that Page of Swords could be spying, could be messages, could be communication. Yeah, and they're showing us a King of Wands. Obviously, it can be any sign, any gender. That's just my biggest flirt or communication type of person. So under the deck is the Nine of Coins. It could be an Earth sign here. Nine of Cups. I feel like you and this person have a lot in common. Uh, you may find that out if you don't know that yet. Uh, somebody may, like, I feel like you guys may drive somewhere together soon. Like go on a date. Is what I'm seeing here with the chariot energy and the nine of coins. I feel like the two of you could have a lot of fun. I feel like the two of you could laugh a lot uh, when you're out. You guys have a good uh, time together. You both have a good sense of humor. You get each other. Past life relationship. You also have children. It's interesting because the six of cups is here. So some of you may have... Possibly, I don't know, this doesn't look like that, but maybe someone you knew them as a child or someone of you has children. And trust, trust the connection. It could be a single parent or you are. Romantic feelings under the deck. I don't know, but someone's hooked. I'm gonna go back up there because I wanna see what the energy is for that. What is this hooked card? Someone's in the clouds realizing they're hooked on you. Yeah, devil, eight of wands, and the king. Someone's in love. Someone's head over heels. Got water here and Capricorn energy here. But again, devil can be a little bit obsessed, of course. Um, wanting to communicate a lot. Not being happy. Not seeing or not to his swords. They may try to hide their eyes or like try. They may or may not make direct eye contact with you if you guys do talk. I feel like this person, this person is just happy to see you. 
they could be a Leo. They might be a little shy, possibly the way the two swords is coming out, but they don't have to be. I don't get that they are for most of you. What do they think about you or like about you? Five of swords, like you're a go-getter. They want to win you. Some of you are really good with like, children. If you have kids or you work with kids or something, or you could be, you're a good leader. Four of swords. Also getting like orthopedic for some reason. I don't know if that's somebody does. Four of swords. Oh, tower. Six of cups going back. Maybe they had a dream about you. Past life soulmates, some sort of communication. There either was or will be some sort of communication that might jar a memory, whether it's like in the past, like past life or deja vu or something like that. Also, some of you could meet this person and realize you knew them in the past, like maybe a long time ago. Maybe it's kids, because we had children here, and I feel like we have kids here too. So something about being younger, maybe you guys lived in the same state or area, or somehow you guys have a connection from the past. Maybe you know the same people. Because you may find, like you know, maybe you guys went to the same college, or you guys, you know, something in common like that. Maybe what brings the two of you together. Somebody may be going to a reunion, I don't really get convention strong with this per this reading, but um, also I think this person could just be looking you up on their phone. Like again, maybe they have your phone number from the past or something, or they're asking somebody somehow, or they get it online or whatever. But Ace of Cups, maybe you guys met at a party or will be meeting. But again, if you know this person, I think maybe you already know this person. I think this person thinks about you a lot. Again, they might be a Scorpio. Get Scorpio energy heavy. Could be a Sagittarius or a Leo also. What else do they like about you since they're so like taken by you? Actually, let me do this deck first. What does Spirit have to say about this connection? Okay, you learned a lesson. There might be some sort of regret if you don't take a leap. So maybe you missed chances before, whether with this person, somebody else, you weren't open, you weren't ready, you weren't looking. So it says it's safe to make the move you're considering, take the leap of faith, otherwise you may regret it. Okay, what does this person think like about you? They love to go out or they like that you like to go out, you guys have fun together, they feel like you're motivated. That's that five of swords energy. Again, it's a love from long ago. Something you're already established in some way. Either you like to spend money, you have nice things, or they like to spend money, and they feel like you guys are a perfect match. I do get that you have a lot in common. I do get that you guys think alike and you guys like the same things. What is this person going to do next? Let me get this deck. Actually, I'll use this one. What is this person going to do next? Six of Wands, Justice. They could come in and ask you out. Six of Wands is very confident. Again, with justice. Yeah, communicate page of wands. See, I don't really get this person that shy or anything like that, which is good, like the two of swords. There's something about them just feeling like when they see you, you light up the room. They're happy to see you. You make this person happy. Um, I feel like this person is definitely confident. There's like no worries around that. They might be a Libra, but, or a fire sign, seven of cups, seven of coins. Maybe they missed out on a chance with you. Maybe it's them, not you with the regret. Maybe they didn't ask you out. Maybe they, you know, stalled or waited before and something fell through. And so they're not going to do that again. So the seven of swords is something that's revealed. Five of cups are disappointed or sad about the past I mean this could be you but if it doesn't make sense it's them then they've been watching you waiting yeah this person is always looking you up looking for you looking online they feel you guys get along yep two of cups two of coins judgment wanting to bring this again possibly water sign but this is more about like being in love having feelings two of cups here so all right, I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.